Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates as we explore the latest news from Intel groups and developments in Iraq's financial and oil sectors. Electronic payment and debit card expansion An interesting article from Intel Group MN points out that Iraq is now issuing international debit cards that can be used globally, including in the US. This move represents a significant shift toward electronic payments and signals readiness for Iraqis to access a more integrated global financial network. The exchange rate on these transactions will be determined by the currency exchange or the Central Bank of Iraq's CBI, official rate, depending on the link to the bank. Update on oil and gas law and governance According to an article shared by Intel G. Samson, the oil and gas law is once again a priority, with MPs from Basra urging a resolution to what they describe as governorate injustice. This law is crucial for defining the equitable distribution of oil revenue across Iraq, especially in oil-rich regions. The calls for justice reflect the region's push for fairer governance in resource management. Insights from Intel Groups on Currency Reform Frank 26 highlights that Iraq's new cash deposit centers are designed to separate new lower denomination notes from the older notes that Iraqi citizens return. Following this, lower denominations will be accessible at ATMs or banks, either in physical or electronic form. Wolverine, via Jude Ebton adds optimism by indicating that payouts are expected this week, with an assurance that it will be a beautiful month. Magi, via PDK, also points out that, based on recent updates, different rates and banking opportunities could be seen by November 6, aligning with other financial developments in the country. Iraqi Stock Exchange and Banking Updates Several cross-transactions and notable changes have been observed in Iraq's banking sector recently. On October 21, a cross-transaction occurred on 14.9 billion shares of Economy Bank, valued at IQD 3.9 billion, representing 5.7% of the bank's capital. Another transaction on 8 billion shares of Iraq New Islamic Bank was valued at IQD 3.6 billion, comprising 3.2% of its capital. Alam Islamic Bank is set to trade in the OTC market on October 27 after finalizing shareholder registration, while Sioux Commercial Bank resumed trading on October 22 following its AGM postponement. In addition, Trust International Islamic Bank will halt trading starting October 31st to prepare for its AGM on November 5th, where it will discuss and approve the 2023 annual financial statements and elect new board members. Iraq's oil sector and export highlights The Iraqi Ministry of Oil announced that September oil exports totaled 99 million barrels. This comes after revealing that the first half of 2024 saw 600 million barrels exported or a 3.77% increase compared to the same period in 2023. These numbers showcase Iraq's vital role in the global oil market and its continuous growth in exports. Final thoughts The financial landscape in Iraq continues to evolve with promising developments in electronic payments, currency reform, and oil exports. If you enjoy today's update, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed on the latest news. Thanks for tuning in, and let's keep watching these exciting changes unfold.